Hey baby. I'm here. I'm good. Yeah. Will you will you come to to do a guest for me when you're back? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> I made it. Maybe we <laughs> Maybe we made it. Think that we're sitting in our bed listening to music. Oh, that shit don't work with me, but it's not for you to try. Go on. Also, I need you louder. And I need you to project I towards the camera. I cannot match your your um your <laughs> your <laughs> listening to music and we're saying you know oh i like this i like that don't think about it. you know i never claim that we're here to give it a professional this is the heat already. because you're stressed look my hands are already sweating why it's what happens when you camera shy trust and believe nobody's watching this so imagine that we're just listening to music and commenting on it yeah. also trust they're hating on me they will never hate on you you're too nice for this shit. Oh, okay. oh I said good morning. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I said good morning. Welcome back to with you. You can call me B, and I'm here with with my very good associate, <laughs> Kurt. So today we're doing Chloe and Hell. Uh, the album is called Ungodly Hour. But let's jump straight to it. I won't give you any. Yeah, you don't. You don't need to know the background. You can one, judge. One second, my eyelashes. Are... The eyelashes, guys. Okay, something you need to know about our show is that if we like something, we cash it. If we don't, we trash it. If we don't feel any particular way about it, it's a pass. Mm -hmm. And if we really like something, it's ambulance. If you really like something, <laughs> they are signed in Parkwood, which is Beyonce's label. So Beyonce signed these girls. Yes, and from okay. what I, I don't know if I should have told you that before we started listening, but yeah, yeah I should, I should. I should. Oh. The, there is an intro to the album. Let's go to this. I know. I just realized that it's the it's an intro to the next song who's called, that's called "Forgive Me." Gotcha. I guess they were going for the sort of like dramatic sort of entrance. You can't like be signed by Beyonce and then come with your, you know. You have to kind of bring it. Beyonce yeah. was was not a bad girl until I know, but she's 2013. A, but she's a brand. You have to come and represent. You're right. Like if Beyonce signed you, you wouldn't come out. You'd think twice about the song. I should have is. never told you that they got signed with Beyonce. <laughs> I should have never mentioned that. Too late. Okay, so the next thing is called "Forgive Me." Damn. Damn right. I thought would be Low Angels has gone right out the window. Can you hear the Beyonce? Um, yeah. I can't help it. That's why I told you because I would mention it now. Amazing. Mm -hmm. They are fantastic. They look fantastic. They are fantastic. Their vocals are on point. So uh, it's cash. She's unapologetic. Truly. Because she's like, no, I'll be moving to better things. So <laughs> forgive me, but I'll be moving on. Cash. Oh! Okay, the next song is called Baby Girl. Are you feeling this? Okay. Probably wouldn't have given it much until that break, and then it gives you a bit more, and then after that, it gives you a bit more. But a bit slow. Yeah, it is slow. It definitely starts slow. The lyrical content is cute. Yeah. It's uh, girl empowerment, which, you know, we will never stop needing it. Um, the chorus was a bit long, baby girl, we got it. When she said, do it for, um, do it for the girls around the world, mm -hmm. that was more impactful. It's unfortunate that it, this song was put right after Forgive Me, because I feel like this could have been the sixth song of the album i still would have given it a pass like i am now <laughs> they had the entrance at the beginning and then now you're looking for something to kind of pick you up to keep you there yes but then it's just kind of dipped down Do it for the girls. so far they have been playing with a lot of harmonies but i would like to hear a song that it's vocal based and they're giving it <laughs> okay the next song is called do it and that was the main single that was the, um, the first single Okay. <laughs> the production is very similar to the other two. Yeah. Like now that I'm hearing them back to back, I'm like, oh. Uh, 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 uh. This one mm -hmm. is the Little Mermaid, the new Little Mermaid. 
You remember the controversy that the yes, you, yeah, yeah that the, the little man will be black and stuff, mm-hmm. and people were like, but how does she have melanin underwater? Oh my god! So this is a cast from me for the obvious reasons. Like it's it gets you going. Do I do not love it for a lead single? When I heard it, because I know the song, I've heard it many times. I was like, mm, is this the lead single? What's the rest gonna sound like? But it's a grower because now that I listen to it, I'm like, oh, oh. Like um, the best Most, so far. Yeah, it's a cash. It's a cash. Oh, the next song is called Tipsy. Oh. <laughs> it's interesting. It's got a lot of things that I'm like, ah, uh, and then I'm like, oh, same. Ah, uh, oh. In my opinion. <laughs> My first time on YouTube, don't know, like, um... Yeah, you don't need to get defensive. Okay, good. Just give your opinion, sir. Notes with the bass and her choice for the melody that, for me, clashed. Clashed, yeah. So, for me, it was like, oh, the beat's good, and then she sings that note, and I was like, oh. I had the same problem because I liked the production, mm. and it was very interesting. Mm-hmm. All the things, all the, all yeah. the sounds, but then the vocal melody that she chose yeah. didn't bring the production forward, didn't bring it to life. Was, uh, as she was doing the, the rapping, it, it didn't feel... Uh, Organic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It felt like she already wrote the vocal melody, and then yeah. she heard the, the track, and like, mm, we can make it work. Yeah. But, okay, so what is it? I would, I'm, I'm gonna pass. I'm I would pass. pass it. I won't trash it because mm. it's the fact that it's interesting mm. enough for us mm. to be like, oh, you know, and give notes yep. means that we were intrigued by it. The next song is uh, called The Ungodly Hour. Yeah. This is not a sofa, there's only two chairs. I can hear um, Uh, Janet uh, Jackson in here. uh, There is a remix of If. If I was young. Yeah, okay, Chonada. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I I can hear. I would love a Janet Jackson uh, future uh, out of the blue. Guys, I was only here because at the end of the day, what I do is pop up, (laughs) show up. What do we put on Angadli Awa? 100%. I was gonna say, what was it again? Cash. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why was it again? That's your hundredth time on the show. So these are my adopted gay parents. My name is Terrell. They found me on the corner. Can you adopt your parents? <laughs> they found me on the corner in Peckham and they were like, oh, this poor little black kid, he needs, some, he needs something else to eat other than Indian. Okay, baby, noodles. you know how much I hate editing. Why are you doing this to me? You know what this is like? Cash. Oh, wait, is it left to right or right to left? I do not know. Do you, do you think I care about it the hour? Mwah. Next song is called Busy, Busy Boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Busy. <laughs> that was close. The time. Just because you're so damn fine. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Damn. Excuse you. Oh, they heard me. Uh huh. Busy, busy boy. Boy. Loved it. Cash. Because these bad bitches can't do no wrong. This whole situation is a cash. Period. Hey, 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 hey. This is what I gotta deal with every day, y'all. I want something to be more, be different, like pick me up. This didn't pick you up? On the okay. highway. Chilling. What do you want? I don't know, something that can make me get up and like. Make you ghetto. No, get up. I like how so far I'm also intrigued with the lyrics because they actually talk about something. Well, I saw would I saw would cash it. It's yeah, yeah, cash. Me too, cash. Busy boy, we we all know a busy boy. That's me. <laughs> so basically, yeah. The next song is called Catch Up. It's with Shway Lee. Oh, I know this. Oh, 
What did you say? She's not. <laughs> They're great vocalists. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I want more of that. Yeah. You give me something more impressive vocally, something, something to challenging. Show, showcase show what they can do. Show off. Yeah, yeah. Don't showcase. Show off a little. It's a, for me, it's a pass. <laughs> Well, even, even the staircase is a gut gag. Who, if you listen to it two more times, mm -hmm. this will be the end for you. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like it is a song that will excite you easily, but it will wash, or like it will, yeah. will be forgotten I, yeah, easily. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. Quickly bored. I do feel like that. But right now, in this moment, for me, it's a super cash. Like we've heard, we've heard a male voice and it got refreshed. So then when she came in and she gave me that, mm -hmm. I'm like, I appreciate you, I respect you, I love you. The next song is called Overwhelmed. Let's see what it has to do. That's it. You see, that would have been a perfect opportunity to showcase what you can do. The whole song was washed over with harmonies and melodies and stuff like that, but it could have been done with just one voice. One voice. To be fair, they are a vocal duo. Uh -huh. So it makes sense that everything is overwhelming. You sing one part, she sings another part. Fair. I, I agree with you. It's something simpler so we can appreciate yes. the raw artistry. Yes, because I there's agree. not much. I was thinking that I, I don't like intros. Interlude. Interlude. Because I feel like in, in, a, in, a, in an age of Spotify and iTunes, these songs are getting lost. Mm -hmm. Well, if you put it maybe in the end of the previous song or in the beginning of the next, even if it makes the song five minutes, yep. make it five minutes. Especially if it's not a single and you don't need to make a radio edit. Make it long. I would still give it a pa a cash, cause I just like the the lyrics and like it spoke to me. The next song is called Lonely. You wish you had somebody. Oh. I'm good at guessing it, yeah. My problem is because I love the lyrics, mm. but they're getting a bit lost in translation when it comes to music. Go there, ho. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And the, but the lyrical content was amazing. Imagine this in a more mellow, you know what, I don't mind mid-tempo songs, but you cannot have a, an album full of them. Oh. And, and also, you need to be a bit smart, because in 2020, you need to have something that is more memorable, that is more TikTokable. Mm -hmm. You know, have one smart line here, have a vocal melody that people will try. Earlier, you, you, you saw, yeah. like I saw yeah. something higher, I tried it. Yeah, I just... I want to trash it, but, uh, but it doesn't deserve, it doesn't deserve to be trashed. But in context with the rest of the album, yep. I'll trash it. It's okay. Yeah. Variety is good. That's all I'm asking for, for a bit of variety. Um, it's good to be a duo, but... So you think variety is good, yeah? Yeah. What are you trying to say? I don't know. Remember, we don't feel bad. No one is watching this. We okay. <laughs> okay, so you can... No one's watching this now. I'm a trash. <laughs> Because okay. I haven't given anything a trash and I haven't got my requests. And variety. We're gonna cash the whole album. Mm. So the next song is called Don't Make It Harder On Me. Very promising title. So y'all better bring something. Again. Harmonies. Metabo. One of my requests, and that was like, there was just one of them at the beginning and that sounded great you got you know to showcase our voice a little bit keep in mind maybe our, our ears are not trained enough for this style speak for yourself I'm joking. <laughs> she, i try to defend you how because bitches like, in the I'm conversation joking. will know, be like I know. I this yeah just bunch of haters opinions we have different musical we have very different musical tastes. definitely <laughs> definitely <laughs> But there's a lot of things we agree with, though. It, like this bass line. 
Cash because it was a great bass line mm -hmm. that made me very interested to see what is going on. Mm -hmm. Because the actual chorus was started nicely. The yes. pre-chorus, I hated it. But I didn't I wouldn't skip it. That's why I cash it and not pass. I would pass. In the whole body of work, I I I, I, I wanted more. Um... Guys, guess what? We greedy. Okay, we greedy. Wonder what she thinks of me. I wonder what she thinks of me. Cash. When you're coming home, you under your glow. Wow. After you. Can we miss that for a little bit so we can have. I know it's RB. Mm. Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess the R too. <laughs> but um, can we miss the. Like, let us hear her voice. I know that she smells my perfume. You see? Perfume. Yeah, things like that, even to her use of the vibrato. Yeah. Vibrato. 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 This is what we were looking for, yes, no. baby. Sorry, I'm gonna bring oh this. my god, oh my god. This was okay. an amazing journey. You know these lyrics are mine. I wrote this shit. <laughs> I wonder what she thinks of me. I'll help you pick her dress. I gotta say, in the chorus, I would choose to, you know, a shorter line. Yes. Because she kept on, she kept on talking fast in the chorus. I'm yes. like, girl, you need to go higher. Mm -hmm. So tell me. The Eurovision treatment. I love that transition. Ah. We, we need to learn this now. For me. Man. For me. I can't do that. Play it again, play it again. Ah, she goes back up. Fuck it, amazing. Mm -hmm. For me, that's my ambulance. Cause this changed my... <laughs> this was an amazing, amazing song. But, but this is what we were talking about. Um, give us something in the beginning, yes. you know, to, and then escalate so mm. that we can appreciate the yes. harmonies more if we miss them for a little bit. Royal, mm -hmm. rest of your life. Rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Real. I like it though. That reminds oh. you of something. It does. Okay, I gotta say, this to me screams FKA Twigs. I got excited for a second, because um, I thought I was gonna get something at the end, finally, uh, like the final hurrah, and then I just got, Would you live tonight for the rest of your life? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me laugh when they do the little British thing. That was British? Who knows? I almost want to trash it if I'm going to be honest. You know what? I will trash it. Because Even though I don't like the song, I would put it as a third in the album because it keeps you going, mm -hmm. I guess. And it's... Uh, we gotta say that it's different. Yes. Like, they used at least a different technique in the way they sang this. It's a trash song. Uh, I, I, I already said this. But the, the album on the whole, in conclusion? I think their voices are amazing. It's not the best I've heard. Is that better? That's the problem though. They are great. Mm. But this album didn't give you the idea that this is the best thing you've heard. And I was expecting to listen to something that I would be like, wow, this is the yeah. album of the year. I was, maybe my expectations were too high. To Apple, you expect a certain level of service. Am I boring you? I'm tired, sir. <laughs> I've been at work all day, and now I'm here, we see the rain. It was raining earlier. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, guys. A like and subscribe, follow Kurt on Instagram. Tell us a little bit about you. Okay, so I am... Um... Wait, can you see it? <laughs> eh, eh. Is it there? Zamba, yes. <laughs> Pronounced Zumba. Zumba, what did I say? <laughs> Zumba. <laughs> Zumba. I know how to pronounce it, ho. 
I am a Zumba instructor mm -hmm. and a strong way Zumba instructor. Now I'm known as Strong Nation, so I deal with lots of uh, dancing and fitness. So I like things that can energize me, which is why I was saying that before. I like things that are upbeat. So when the whole album is mellow, it's like, huh. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you later. Like, subscribe, follow Kurt on Instagram. He is an amazing Zumba instructor. Aww. Not that I've been to any of his classes because you he will. because he didn't want me there. You will. <laughs> you will now. Um, and I'll see y'all later. <laughs> but I am looking forward to the next project and I'll be here to be view it. I'm gonna keep tabs on them. Definitely gonna keep tabs on them because there are so much um, of the some not so much, but there are songs that I did enjoy. You know what's your problem? You keep tabs on people. Where is this from? Where is this from? I can't get it! Who is it? Okay, it's Kim Peele. <gasps> Megan! Megan, yeah? <laughs> I love that. That was a random reference, you get a pass. Yeah. You, you get that, okay.